Right, welcome back to the next episode in the Commands and Colours Napoleonic series where I uh, take a close look at the base game and all the expansions. Now in this episode I think I'll be able to do the first expansion which is the Spanish Army and expansion number two, the Russian Army, both at the same time, well rather one after the other, because there's a lot less talking and explaining to do now um, and I can just more or less concentrate on the components and any game mechanics that may change slightly for, for the different nations. So we'll start off with the Spanish and I'll be back in a sec. Right, new terrain hexes in this set. We have walled farms and we have four-sided and two-sided redoubts which obviously give advantages to the defender all three of those. So they're there, and let's have a look at the actual hexes and what this angle here. So, let's come back a bit. So there's our actual hexes. Now, um, they are good, but in this, um, in this printing, the second printing of the Spanish army, these Hexes are very thin, they're about half the thickness of uh, normal. And now I'm, I'm assuming that was a, an error, and it may have been if there's been a third and a fourth print, I'm assuming they've corrected that. It's, it's not, it doesn't impact hugely, but you know, that something like that shouldn't happen when you've got thick, you know, you've got the nice thick core ones, and then you get something that's about half the thickness. But as I say, it doesn't impact anything on the game, but it's something that's a little bit disappointing, shall we say. Right, well, let, let's look at the spat. There's some French reinforcements, of course, as there is in every set, because the poor old French, they end up fighting everybody, don't they? Right. So let's start at, at that end. Right, now, if I look at the manifest, we have got... Line infantry, 48 blocks, which is 12 units. Next to them, we have the light infantry, 15 blocks, 3 units of 5. And the, the yellow colour is really striking. Next, we have 2 units, 8 blocks in total, of grenadier infantry and three units, 12 blocks in total, of militia infantry. Then we have uh, four leaders. We have seven units, 21 blocks of light cavalry. Then we've got five units, 15 blocks of heavy cavalry, and one unit of three blocks of Carassier heavy cavalry. And finally, for the Spanish, we have three units, a total of nine blocks of foot artillery. Now, I'm not going to be picking around this table leg again. You come down to the French. Right. We've got four more units of line infantry, 16 blocks. Two further units, eight blocks of grenadier infantry. Two units, eight blocks of light cavalry. We've got one unit of light, oh no, sorry. Four units, 16 blocks of heavy cavalry. And here we've got two units, 
two units, eight blocks of Guard Lake Cavalry, and I forgot to put out Late Lancer Cavalry. Late Lancer Cavalry, there should be four blocks of them. Late Lancers, here they are. Let's get them out just to complete the picture, otherwise I'm not sure you're all the components, am I? So let's put the Late Lancers down here. That was my error, I didn't read the manifest properly. So, the French are building up the cavalry and we've now added a unit of Late Lancers. So, there's all the units in the Spanish expansion and the new terrain bits. Next we'll look at uh, the other bits and pieces that come in the game in this expansion and uh, obviously the scenario book. Back in a sec. Alright, once again we have the board to show when units are in square. The card goes on the onto the square itself. I should just move them a moment. And the, the actual square token, this is here from square number two, card number two here, will go to the troops who have gone into square. So that's the same as the others. We've got the Spanish victory banner. We've got plenty of them. And now uh, we've also got, these, it's quite difficult to read, but oh, you can see, the guerrilla action. Now, more of that in a moment. But you get all them in, as usual. Again, we get two copies, no we don't, we get one copy of the terrain tile effects chart and it includes the new, the new pieces, puzzles as well that I thought we haven't even come to yet because I noticed there, down at the bottom is castle, well we haven't got a castle out yet, but it does come later in the set. So we've got one of them, we've got the two bifalls which tell us all our stats and who can do what and when and how, which is great. And we've got, now we've got the Spanish on the back as well. But I was telling you that they brought out a better, there's two of them here, it's a better quick reference card. Now if I can, I can the shot there, I think so. Now here we've got, I'm all clearly marked, British, Spanish, French, and then artillery down the bottom. It tells you everything you need to know. Number of blocks, what they can do, uh, moving and firing, melee, what dice to roll. Easy to see, instead of the bifold, you've got this. And of course on the back, we've got uh, the French and artillery. So much, much better is this. It, a lot, th th these are the ones I use, and because it's got the British and the Portuguese on, as well as the French and Spanish, you can backdate it to the core set, so you can do away with your bath falls if you need. Just use these, which is what I do. So there's two of them. Right, now, let's get on to the... Come on, let me open it so you can see it all. pages. Completely get it rid. Right. Now you can't see all that again. Get it in that's a bit better. Right. New leaders and units explains about the Spanish. We've, we've mentioned the victory banners, the square token, etc. We've gone through the manifest, I've shown you the blocks. Uh, more explanation of what the different units are. And now we come to what I was telling you about with this new game mechanic. Now I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in on this just so you can read it. I think you'll be able to see all that and read it. So if you pause your video you can read that. But basically what it is is those little tokens, those guerrilla tokens, if the Spanish player has one or more, he can play one per turn to stop the French player, well, the enemy player will more than likely be the French, uh, from playing a particular card. If he wants to play this card, you can play the guerrilla token before he actually moves anything. Now, the French, basically, the French player can still use it, he can still force it through, but he has to roll the dice. And there's a chance that he'll not only lose the card, but his turn will end. 
but there was also a chance that he's been successful and he's in, and he can still play the game. But anyway, that, that mechanic will explain that better than what I'm telling you. Right, let's zoom out a bit. And let's look at some other scenarios in here. So we've got Balen in 1808. Zonosa, that's first of October 1808, we're still in 1808, Gammonol. Espinosa de los Monteros, 10th 11th of November 1808. Somi Sierra, 30th of November 1808. Midelin, 28th of March 1809. Alchemy's 23rd of May 1809. Maria, 15th of June 1809. Talavera, the Spanish flank. Tamams or Tamims, 18th of October 1809. Okana, the cavalry action, and boy, we got some cavalry on there. The Spanish heavy cavalry at the top, light cavalry here, and plenty of Frenchies down here with some horse artillery, which the Spaniards do have. Excellent. The Spanish guerrilla action rules in effect. The Spanish player starts with one guerrilla counter, so it does tell you in special rules about guerrilla counters and who gets what and why. That could be handy in this, especially with cavalry actions. Uh, Okana, 19th of November 1809. Alba de Tomes, 20th of November 1809. Then we'll go to 1811, Barossa. Albuera, 16th of May 1811. Vittoria. San Marcial. 1813, and finally, Odell Cross, 13th of September, 1813. And that, my friends, is the uh, Spanish expansion. So what I'll do next, I'll set up the, uh, the uh, Russian one, and we'll come back and have a look. Right, now we move on to the Russian expansion. I'll just get rid of that box lid. We'll do like we normally do. We'll look at the new hexes first. Up at the top, we've got hills with uh, two and four sides um, with barricades, uh, field works. We've also got a church and a marsh. Well, it, it is his Russia. We're going to have marshes, aren't we? So if I move that out of the way, so you can actually see the tiles. Here they are. Move them a bit. But yeah, you know, you've got the picture. We can put it in short. Right, so there's the tiles we've just been talking about. Um, they're fine, nicely printed. These are on good stock, not, not like the Spanish ones. Some of the Spanish ones that were a problem. Now onto the box, and as you will see, obviously this place reinforcements again, but there's a lot of ruskies. Zoom in a bit so you can see the Oop, not so far. That'll do. Right, now let me get to the manifest and read it out. Right. Line infantry. They get nine units, 27 blocks, which is three to a unit, but it also says plus six Mother Russia blocks. Now, we'll explain Mother Russia in a little bit. Next to them, by infantry, six units, 18 blocks, uh, with three Mother Russia blocks. Next to them, We have Grenadier Infantry, four units of 16 blocks, no other, no other Russia there. Guard Light Infantry, two units, eight blocks. G 
Guard Grenadier. Two units, eight blocks. And Militia Infantry. Two units, eight blocks. Then we have our Commander. And my cavalry. You notice know, that cavalry have four blocks. And the same as the French. Yeah. Light cavalry, three units of 12 blocks. Heavy cavalry, two units of eight blocks. Crassier heavy cavalry, two units of eight blocks. I'm going to get to the end of that line, so let's start again down here. Right, then we've got Guard Light Cavalry, one unit of four blocks. Guard Heavy Cavalry, one unit of six blocks. And yeah, I did say that correct. Six blocks of one unit. That is one powerful heavy cavalry force, if used correctly. That has got some hammering, hitting power. Consequently, on the reverse side, our Cossacks, our Militia Cossack Cavalry, we get three units, six blocks, plus eight Mother Russia blocks. A lot weaker. Next to that, we've got Foot Artillery. We've got four units of 12 blocks. Horse artillery, one unit of three, three blocks, and guard foot artillery, one unit of three blocks. Then we move across to the old fringes. We get one more leader, we get two more line infantry units, eight blocks. We get two young guard infantry units of eight blocks, three units of old guard infantry for 12 blocks. And finally, we get some guard foot artillery. Coming out. That is quite an impressive selection, I think you'd agree. Uh, lots of units to choose from as well there, and of course they've all got uh, different attributes and capabilities so they've done well here and, and the art again is very nice um can't fault it okay all right we'll put this lot away and then we'll have a look at the rule book and we'll look at this mother russia thing right the components in the game with the russian expansion is the standard square uh, we've seen this numerous times now uh, obviously this one's in green, the token and the Mother Russia, uh, sorry not the Mother Russia, the Russian Victory Banners. You get a stack of them. So let's put that one to one side. Again, the usual terrain effects chart, we've seen that before. Um, the the bifalls, two of them again. And then our quick reference cards, the ones I like. Um, again, two-sided. Now, for this one, they've just obviously put the French on one side and they've put the uh, Russians on the other. Andy Dandy, fantastic guide. Uh, I love them. So, and that. Now, what we've got here is a paper strength mother Russia. Oh. What did we do though? Shall I throw it on the floor? A paper strength Mother Russia's token. Now, you can't find the page on here. What they're basically saying is, I'll let you read it, but what they're basically saying is, often Russian army hadn't been fully mobilised and some units went to the front with just a paper strength, you know, some units missing. Hopefully you can read that. And what the idea of this is, um, we, we do a Mother Russia roll, and you roll a number of dice, I think it's equivalent to your command cards, 
and whatever you roll, say you roll a two infantry, a cavalry, artillery, etc. Anything that is uh, below strength, Mother we'll Russia strength, you bring it up to strength with an extra block. So if there's three infant, three line infantry blocks, you bring it up to strength with four, but you put a Mother Russia token on top, and it stays with that unit all the way through. You can't remove that as being a a casualty, you know, you still got to lose a block. But as I say, you can read that and you can get it for yourself. It's basically just to show that some units were only paper strength. So, right, hopefully you've been able to read that. Well, you should have done if you paused it. Let's have a look at some of the scenarios. So I'll just move it across and pull out just ever so slightly. A bit more trick as well. I see two pages, don't we? Right. Right, I might even have tried for an some of these. Um, oh, 20th of December 1806, was it? Zanov, because it would be a V that W, won't it? So it'll be Zanov Zanova, Zanovo, 1806. Let me see, Russian army, blah blah blah, super decision. Pre battle Mother Russia role is in effect. Sabre rolls have no effect, so you, sabres do give you something in in some, but not in this one. So we have Mother Russia. Hmm. Golinin, 26th of December 1806. Pultusk, 26th of December 1806. Morungan. 25th of January 1807, Ilo Plateau, Russian rear guard. Ilo, 8 a.m. till noon, Ilo, 1807, Marat's cavalry charge. Heilsberg, 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 opening phase, Friedland. Borodino, 5th of September, Chevrodino Redoubt, uh, the village of Borodino, still in Borodino, Utica, Borodino Reyevsky Redoubt, Reyevsky Redoubt, Poltosk, uh, Malora Yaslavets, Krasnoy, crossing the Berezina. Champo Bear, Montmirel, and finally, Crayon. Or oh, Crayon, I don't know how you pronounce it. Bloody auction that he's trying to do Russian and French and pig in Spanish. So, that, gentlemen and ladies, is what you get in the Russian expansion and the Spanish expansion. So I'll, I'll, I'll cobble this all together into one video. I'll be going to hospital shortly to see the way, so um, it'll, I'll have to do that when I come back, is it, it'll take too long and, you know, I, I need to get there. So thanks for watching. In the next episode, hopefully I'll be able to do two armies again, the final two armies, which are the Austrians and the Prussians. So I'll see you for that one. Bye for now.